hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is doing great so anyway so yeah as you, as you can guess by the title you probably know what i'm about to say as well and even if you don't then stay tuned and i'll explain more in detail so let me just get started okay guys so i'm just gonna do like a quick brief introduction to what this is about so basically a video just came out from bbc by bbc they did like an undercover operation to some university in africa so basically to expose some of like the lecturers as like asking students for sex in, in order to give them grades or in order to improve their work or like basically some lecturers that are basically harassing the students so yeah so there was a girl that was told to go as an undercover into one of this university and basically talk to one of the lecturers and see how they're going to approach her just to basically expose the this this harassment by the male lecturers to the female students so there was one of the undercover agents basically went to the school and she was disguised as like a 17 year old student so yeah she she went in she went in she was she met one of, i think the the lecturer that she went to was someone that was already like that everyone someone that's already been popular to knowing to do something like this and the justice that they deserve so they asked this girl to post as a 17 year old girl and she went she's just she told him that she was just 17 and she obviously just starting to get she wants to get a degree so when she went to when she met him she went obviously went to his office and as soon as she, as soon as she got there the very first thing he was doing was like complimenting her look even though she already said she was 17 year old 17 years old he was basically complimenting her look so sit down how old are you 17 i look very big like this and minutes into our conversation this doctor had complimented me five times about being a beautiful girl. Oh, you're beautiful girl, you're beautiful, you're very beautiful. Don't you know you're a beautiful girl? <laughs> Do you know that? Eh? You are not beautiful, we are very beautiful, you are very beautiful girl. I could tell that the way he was talking to me was not normal. You know I'm a pastor, Do you know I'm a pastor? I know. Good. Do you know, and I'm in my 50s, okay? okay. What is shock you is that, even at my age now, yeah. mm, if I want a girl of your age, I'm a teen year old. Yeah. All, all I need is to see the tongue and put some tongue down. Really? Yes. I can get any 17 year old girl I want. I just have to give her money. I'm in my 50s. I'm a pastor. It was basically telling the girl older. I'm a At the bottom, if you want to go watch the rest of it, the video Zara posed as a final year student interested in a master's degree and national service opportunities in his faculty. <laughs> this was only the second time Dr. Butaku had invited her to meet with him in private. What I noticed was in our interactions, he would be very blunt on the phone, very professional. But any time I went to see him in his office, he would be extremely inappropriate with me. Mm. How many guys have today? Uh, today How many guys uh, today? I told him relationships were a distraction if you're in school. And he said he wouldn't be a distraction because he was going to be a side guy. Mm. Let it be your side, your side guy. Side guy. Mm. No, no, men have side chicks. A side, as he put it, is he would be, he basically wanted to be my boyfriend but not the main person university policy forbids lecturers having sexual relationships with students when they are in a position to influence their education or career flirtatious behavior is considered misconduct maybe you be my side and also be your side <laughs> So even though he didn't explicitly say that the condition for me advancing in my career was for me to be in a relationship with him or for him to be my side, he kind of hinted that it would benefit me in a certain way in my career. No distractions, your focus is to be on your career. Then they said we see how best you can also contribute to your career and make you to become a better person. At this level, at this age, you have to serve with people who can contribute to your career. 
he has made it seem as if. Basically, after watching this video, after this, I will, after hearing about this video and watching it, I was very, I was actually very interested when I heard about the story. I was, I was just thinking, finally, it's about time, because obviously we all know this kind of thing happening like a lot of the universities in like basically everywhere to be honest but it's i feel like there's more in all this like african countries especially in nigeria i'm not saying it's not for like ghana or what other places but i'm just gonna focus on these two i'm gonna focus on t on these two university and these two places that they they use as well so i can't really say anything else for the other places because that was not in the video so i'm just gonna talk about these two places ghana nigeria yeah so yeah, when I watched the video, I was actually very disgusting. I I felt sorry for all the students. Like it was, I was just thinking, especially the girl that I went there. She she told him, "I'm 17 years old, and you you're like freaking 50, and you still proceed to be like trying to mess around with the girl or do this kind of stuff, which is quite gross. Like I don't know. And yeah, like I can't even begin to imagine what all the, like so many girls that's like gone through this because of all these people we love these people we love girls that's not able to get the the marks the degree or like whatever good things they deserve in this un in all these universities because of this shameless evil man so i'm quite happy that they did this um documentary and expose those people and i'm basically and i'm hoping that they're gonna do more and expose a lot of people because this is like 2019 and the fact that women still have to go through all this is just appalling it's crazy like they need to be they need to even not to say like the fact that it's too, the fact that it's 2000 there's, there's still a lot more of this lecture that still do these things to you all these girls so the time is gonna come as well and i pray and i hope that they get caught as well and to every girl's to every girl and everyone that, that's going through this or that went through this i hope everything get better for them and these girls literally get justice because they deserve it behavior because it's just mad it's crazy and i really 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 do hope that they get these girls get the justice that they deserve because it's just crazy and yeah i was going through the comments on like the videos and like some of the people that posted these videos online i was going through like comments and then i was saying like people some people saying things like oh but it happens all over the world at the moment right now these people that get caught they need to they need to they need to punish them they deserve to be punished they cannot get away with all this that is there was a video that actually came out there was a video that came out it was one i think i don't know maybe it's one of the school board or something i can't i don't even know but the man was talking about how is the fault of the female student because they weren't revealing co um they weren't revealing clothes to the to me the professors they're wearing see-through clothes to to uni they, they're wearing skimpy or short dresses and stuff like that to uni and i'm thinking how is this man talking about this like are you killing me they can't wear whatever they want because oh apparently some 50 year old 60 year old man is going to be looking at them and trying to want to rape them or harass them that's that's crazy watching that video makes me so angry it makes me angry and it makes me happy because this evil disgusting old man has been caught and i really do pray and i hope that they get they get the punishment that they deserve they have to be they have to be punished and get the punishment that they deserve and it makes me so sad that all these people all these girls have to go through all this they have to go through all this because of all these nasty disgusting old men so yeah and these girls are so young like 17 18 like how dare you how dare you think you can be doing this kind of thing how dare you think they can't get the grades that they deserve how dare you think they need you to get the grades how dare you try to arrest them how dare you try to do all these things to all these girls like this is like can these people get punished asap because how just how dare they how like all this disgusting old men like they need to look in okay so this is the end of the video and